All keypad setting changes require being in programming mode to perform. Note, when entering programming mode, the last digit will not beep. To enter programming mode, press pound 9 pound followed by the master code. The factory preset master code is 123456. The yellow indicator will begin blinking slowly to signal that the keypad is in programming mode. If you have reset the master code previously, use that master code in lieu of the factory preset. To change the six-digit master code, while in programming mode, press 98 pound, followed by the desired new master code. In this demonstration, 654321 and pound two times. The green indicator light will flash once when the new master code is saved. After the new master code is saved, exit the programming mode by pressing star star pound. The red indicator light will light solid when the keypad is out of programming mode. Re-enter programming mode to test the new master code. The factory preset user code length is four digits, but may be changed to four, five, or six digits. To change the user entry code length, while in programming mode, press 03 pound, followed by the desired code length, either four, five, or six, and the pound key. The green indicator light will flash when the user entry code length is saved. Here, we set the desired entry code length to five. The factory preset main relay activation time is 5 seconds. It can be reprogrammed from 1 to 60 seconds. To change the main relay activation time, while in programming mode, press 2 1 pound, followed by the desired length of time the main relay will be active, and pound. The green indicator will flash when the main relay time is saved. Here, we change the main relay activation time to one second. The factory preset auxiliary relay activation time is five seconds, but may be reprogrammed from one to 60 seconds. To change the auxiliary relay activation time, while in programming mode, press two to pound followed by the desired length of time the auxiliary relay will be active and pound. The green indicator light will flash when the auxiliary relay time is saved. Here, we change the auxiliary activation time to 10 seconds. User codes can be added to activate the main and auxiliary relays in multiple ways. See page 4 of the installation instructions for all relay codes. Installation instructions can be found on our website at www.hagerco.com. To add a new user, while in programming mode, press 01 pound, followed by the desired user code and the pound key two times, followed by the desired output relay and in this case, one and pound. The yellow indicator light will flash rapidly. The green indicator light will flash when the new user code is saved. You can also program user codes to activate the auxiliary relay. Press zero one pound plus the desired auxiliary code and pound two times. Followed by the desired output relay. In this case, two and pound. After exiting programming mode, test each user code by entering them into the keypad. When a user code is entered, the green indicator light will light solid and the relay associated with it will activate for the program time.
To erase a single user while in programming mode, press 02 pound followed by the user code to be erased and the pound key two times. The yellow indicator will flash rapidly. The green indicator light will flash when the user code is erased. By doing this, we erase the auxiliary user code 22222. After exiting programming mode, test each deleted user code by typing it in. Nothing will happen if the code was successfully deleted. To erase all users, while in programming mode, press 97 pound, followed by six zeros and the pound key, and another six zeros and the pound key. This will remove all entry codes from the memory. The green indicator light will light solid while the memory is being erased. This may take up to 15 seconds. After exiting programming mode, test one of the user codes by typing it in. Nothing will happen if you have successfully deleted the codes. Sometimes users desire to reset the device to complete factory settings. This should be done as a last resort, as you will lose all programming. To do this, first a master reset must be performed. Then the master code must be reset to the factory preset of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. To clear the entire memory and return all programmable options to the factory preset values, first, unmount the keypad to gain access to the back of it. Disconnect the power from the keypad. Press down and hold the star and pound keys simultaneously. While holding down the star and pound keys, reapply power to the keypad. Continue holding down the keys until the red indicator light begins flashing. When the red indicator light begins flashing, release the star and pound keys. The red and yellow indicator lights will remain lit until the process is complete. Then the yellow indicator light will go out, signaling the completion of the master reset. Now, reconnect the power. After performing the master reset, locate and remove jumper JP2 on the back of the keypad while the keypad is powered up. The keypad will begin to beep, signaling that the master code has been reset. At this point, replace the jumper back on JP2. The device has now been fully restored back to factory defaults.